More than 200 students, faculty, and staff rallied in University Quad on Thursday in protest of Cal State University budget cuts. With several hundred in attendance, Students for Quality Education led the walkout teaching. Students who attended expressed mixed reactions to the protest. I guess, like, I was going to walk out just because I didn't want to be in class. But overall, like, I think we already paid tuition fees and there's nothing really much. I don't think this walkout really helped, in my opinion. That's just, I don't know, that's just me, though. Can you tell me why? Because if you really want to affect, like, the school and, like, make them change, like, you'd, you'd have to, like, drop your tuition and have to drop out of school, you know what I mean? They'd have to lose money. But they're not losing money because you still have to go to school. Uh, what I think about this event is, uh, obviously, there's a lot of student support, and that's good. But I hope that they can actually achieve something from this, because just coming out and talking only does so much. Actions. Actions don't make out of the words. Hopefully our legislators will listen to us as students and make the changes that we need. You can't get your classes. Your programs are being threatened to be cut. Your tuition goes up, but your classes are less. It doesn't make any sense. So we're giving you a chance to raise your voice. A lot of us have been frustrated, but we don't know what to do. This is your opportunity. Go to the Action Center. Find out what you can do to help this cause. You have a voice. Higher education. A higher education used to be the plaything of the rich. It was only a small proportion of the, of the economy of the society that was ever able to afford a, a, a higher education. But the master plan made that different. We've got to take the master plan back. Students, professors, and other guests spoke on multiple topics during the walkout. Um, I'm a nursing student at Cal State LA, and uh, two days ago we had a, um, a protest just like this one. So um, if, um, if you don't already know, I'm an MC. I'm going to spit a verse for you. Check it. Today we deface the face of this atrocity. We are the silver bullets bringing fate to your monstrosity. Solidarity among posse and camaraderie will not be pawns in your game of monopoly. President Michael Ortiz was also present at the demonstration. I think that it's an opportunity for students, faculty, staff to express their displeasure with what's happening to higher education and that's why I'm here because I agree with what they're saying. I think it's going to be the only thing that does make a difference. If there's enough of an uproar that students and their parents and their neighbors and their families have, then maybe they'll start to elect legislators that will focus on the importance of education instead of cutting it and making it worse for everyone. You know, I feel great because, uh, to be honest, you know, we've been working really hard for a month to, to, to get this turnout. We've been doing classroom presentations. We've been talking to professors, trying to get them to, to convince them to attend the walkout and teach it and to bring their class. And, you know, we've been doing that straight for about a month. So I feel, you know, really glad that, that a lot of students um, heard about this and, and feel that it's important enough to be able to attend and, and, you know, just be a part of it. This is Amanda Newfield for the Poly Post.